Hey folks, welcome back here. We're uh, in the backyard right now. Um, this is your old pal Hondo doing another video for you on a machete. This is a Marbles 14 inch Bolo. Um, this is made out of 1075 carbon steel, high carbon steel. Don't know the Rockwell heat and treat on this sucker, but these are great machetes. Very affordable. They're made by the same tool company as Condor, so if you want to buy a clone Condor and still have a decent machete, this Marbles 14 inch Bolo is the same on par, the same steel, made in the same country of El Salvador as your um, regular um, Condor Bolos, the same, same Bolo, except different name maybe same company. It's got a, a nice uh, wood handle, very comfortable handle, full tang blade all the way through. Has a nice brass pin, wood handle. It's not a very good wood handle, but it'll work. It's like a pine. It has a nice uh, lanyard loop, so you can put a lanyard in there to protect your hand. It has a false edge right here, which is as sharp as a razor blade. You could use that to backstroke or cut grass with it. It's about, you know, it's very thin in the spine, maybe 1.55 millimeter thick. Um, it has this, like, orange coating on it. It's probably one of the best machetes there is. We're going to cut down this uh, dead fallen locust tree that fell in my yard. We're going to start out by delimiting it, and then we're going to chop through the big parts of the base of it. We're going to use the false edge to delimit. Remember, when you're using a machete, keep it far away from your body when you're cutting, like this at an angle, and always, sometimes, it's, with some machetes, you may want to hold up at the machete pinch. So we're going to delim this uh, big old tree right here that fell over in the yard from the windstorm, and we'll give you our final thoughts on this baby. This is, a, this is straight up chopper, folks, and I've had this one for a long time. It's hard, hardcore. It works great highly recommend this to anybody who wants to buy a budget chopper and don't want to spend a bunch of money I'm not going to throw this into a tree like some knife reviewers do I don't want to ruin my tools in the field because you never know when you need this tool you'll break it like a fool and I've left it out overnight in like probably 10 degree temperature so we're going to test that out as well being in a cold environment like I live it does snow heavily here so let's get one it. strike Use the back of it. Cuts the back end cuts as good as well. This is a very, very tough machete. Cuts with one hit. Limbs are going straight up, they're pointing straight up. How you want to delimit is you want to get it right at the base and just delimit. Make sure to keep your body away from your, keep the machete going away from your body and stand on the other side. And there you go, delimit. And now we're at the, the base of the tree right here, which is the thick part. Now what you want to do is you want to kind of cut it in sections, but you want to keep your machete far away from your body and standing on the other end of the uh, of what you're cutting. This is very thick and hard wood. You want to make a couple of niche chops.
this wood is ash. Big heavy wood is a locust. Makes very short work of this here bush. As you can see, it cuts through four inches to five inches of wood, no problem, no issue whatsoever. If you want to carve a tent peg with this baby, no problem carving a tent peg. This is what the lower end right here is meant for carving wood. No problem carving anything. Say if you want to make a tent peg and use this as a survival machete, no problem. Easy to sharpen this. Carbon steel after all. There you go. Carves really nice. There's your tent peg. You want to see how it, uh... Okay, you want to see how it press cuts so you can make a, a notch. Works really well. Press cut and make a notch. You can baton with the wood with this one. No problem. Basically, you're just going to be using it for chopping, but for survival, there you goes a notch and a nice little tent peg. Works really good. Sharpens it up real nice. This is locust wood, after all. It's probably some of the hardest wood you can find in the North Woods. Uh, you know, it's a great little dilemma. Chops really well. I'm not joking. Um, it bites into your hand a little bit, but. That's to be suspect, expected with this knife, this machete, and you got to be careful with it. Um, this has been the, the Marbles double edged 14 inch Bolo full tang 1075 carbon steel Bolo. As you can see, after chopping through that hard locust wood, there's not one nick on it, and I've had this thing for years and I've used it for years. I favor Bolos over a lot of other uh, types of machetes. If you go one, get it if you want to. This is my overall opinion on this blade. And y'all know what you can do. You put God first, put you first every time. God loves you. So does Hondo. Peace out. Get this thing. It works great. Yeah.